Today's story is about a man who had to wait a long time. Have you ever gone to the doctor's office? Maybe you had a sore throat, maybe you had an earache, or something was wrong and your mama felt that you should go to the doctor. Well, when you get there, what do you do? The first thing you have to do is sign in and then you have to go wait and wait and wait. Well, this story is about a man who had to wait a long, long time. He went to a pool. Uh, in Jerusalem, there was a pool that had beautiful columns. It was like five porches and beautiful columns around each one. And in the center of that was a pool, a big pool of water. And the pool was called Bethsaida. Well, people were uh, at this pool but not to swim. They were there because they were sick. They laid around the pool and everybody wanted to get in it. They believed that an angel came down from heaven and stirred the water up. And when the bubble started and it started moving, the first one that got into that pool was the one that was healed completely. So there were people there who were crippled or lame there were people there who could not see. There were people there who could not hear. And they had all come there hoping that they would be the first one to get in the pool. Well, this man had been crippled all his life. He had been lame and he had never walked. So he was at the pool and he'd been coming there a lot of years, a long, long time. But he didn't have anybody to help him in the pool so he was always too slow to get in and get healed. So several years he had been coming there. One day, Jesus came by the pool and he said, do you want to be healed? And the man said, yes, yes I do. And he was very excited. So Jesus said, take up your bed and walk. Take up your mat and walk. And the man got up instantly because Jesus had performed a miracle. And a miracle is something that only God can do. He got up, he picked up his mat, and he was able to walk. So that was the best day for him that had been in a long, long time. Other people there had friends to help them out, to help them get in the pool, but he didn't have any friends. So Jesus was his friend, and he was a good friend. And then Jesus disappeared in the crowd. Here's a picture of the man in the pool. He got in there for a minute. And here is Jesus talking to him. He had a friend now, and the man was healed. Well, there were some people there who were not very nice. And it made them angry that this man had been weighed well. Because it was the Sabbath day, he was not supposed to heal, they thought. And he, they said to the man, you're carrying your mat. Why are you carrying your mat? This is the Sabbath day. You're not supposed to do that. So the man said, but the man that healed me told me to get up and take my mat and walk. And I did. Well... Jesus went to the temple, and a little later, the man went to the temple, and the man found out who Jesus was. He didn't know when he was at the pool, but he did know when he saw him at the temple, because everybody told him that was Jesus. And Jesus said to him then, do you want your sins forgiven? And the man said, oh yes, because he believed in Jesus. Oh yes, so he forgave his sins. And then the people were angry because Jesus forgave the sins. Some people just aren't happy people, are they? You have to be really nice to everybody and make sure that you say the right thing to them. But these men were angry. And so that's the end of the story by the pool. And I'm going to read this out of the Bible. It comes from John 5, verse 1 through 16. And this will be easy to understand, but... This story came out of the Bible, out of the New Testament. Remember, the, the, te the Bible is divided into two parts, the Old Testament 
in the New Testament. The Old Testament are stories of people who came before Jesus and did marvelous things. The New Testament is about Jesus' birth and the things that he did in his life. So let's read this story out of John. Sometime later, Jesus went up to Jerusalem for one of the Jewish festivals. Now there was in a Jerusalem near the Sheep Gate a pool, which in Aramaic is called Bethesda, in which is surrounded by five covered colonnades. Here a great number of disabled people used to lie, the blind, the lame, the paralyzed. One who was there was an invalid for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in this condition for so long, he asked him, do you want to be well? Sir, the man said, I have no one to help me into the pool when the water is stirred. While I am trying to get in, someone else goes down ahead of me. Then Jesus said to him, get up, pick up your mat and walk. At once the man was cured. He picked up his mat and walked. The day on which this took place was a Sabbath day. And so the Jewish leader said to the man who had been healed, is this, this is the Sabbath. The law forbids you to carry your mat. But he replied, The man who made me well said to me, Pick up your mat and walk. So they asked him, Who is this fellow? And who, who told you to pick it up and walk? The man who was healed had no idea because he had no idea who Jesus had been and Jesus had slipped away in the crowd that was there. Later, Jesus found him at the temple and said to him, See, you are well again. Stop sinning or something worse may happen to you. The man went away and told the Jewish leaders that he was Jesus and made him well. So Jesus was doing what God wanted him to do on the Sabbath day. And it doesn't make any difference with God what day it is. We do good things every day. Time. I'm going to sing a little song to you that I know you're going to like. If you know it already, you can sing with me, okay? A fuzzy caterpillar climbing up a tree. He wiggled right, he wiggled left, he wiggled right at me. I put him in a box. Don't go away, I said. I opened up the box and found a butterfly instead. Now I couldn't make one, not even if I try. Only God in heaven can make a butterfly. 